I would say what helped me very much is establish an amazing culture. We call it no ego zone, or you could also call it no assholes. Hi, I'm Julius. I'm the founder of Graswald. I'm 21 years old, and I just recently joined the Hattek Gründerfonds family. So we uh, digitize nature, which means we actually go out in, in the wild, we um, identify all the different vegetation and natural elements that are there, and we, we scan them, we digitize them, so you have an actual 3D digital copy of every element. And then we provide tools for 3D artists and 3D studios to, based on this, create you know, photorealistic 3D ecosystems for video games, for, for VFX, for movies, um, you know, everything that has to do with 3D worlds, for example, metaverse as well. So back in 2016, I was in Canada for five months and in school there, and we had a school project where we had to create like a virtual or just design a forest. And um, so I created it in the computer in 3D and I um, shared it on the internet and got a lot of positive feedback. And so I thought maybe I can actually turn this into a product and started working on that. And when, when we released it, uh, instead of making like 100 bucks or 1,000 bucks for uh, within a year, uh, which was my actual goal, made 20K US dollars in the first month. So I noticed there's a lot going on and the demand is very high. Um, and I wanted to follow this and you know, this is where we are right now. Actually, not at all, because I had very little idea of what a startup actually is and all the things that, that kind of belong to it. So I basically stumbled into the whole startup world um, and learned along the way. And you know, the advantage of that is you have one problem after another and you don't know what's the whole path that lies ahead. So you can just solve one problem after the other without having to worry too much um, about like, everything that's, that's going on. When I was in school um, and I worked more in these, these 3D projects, I became a huge nerd uh, for, for 3D and 3D nature especially. Basically learned everything online. Google, YouTube, mainly a lot of videos and a lot of uh, specific forums where I was also very active at that time. I don't have like three tips, but I think what, what's most important is um, just be very open, just just do stuff. Don't worry about making everything perfect because it will fall apart <laughs> anyway. When I was starting, I had the, the feeling I had to do everything very, very good and plan ahead and know everything in detail that was going to happen. And it's not gonna happen. So just just start, just test it. And you know, from your mistakes, you'll learn much more than what you anticipated and what you wanted to plan. So you know, just just go ahead. So our team is, I would say, first of all, very amazing and we have a lot of fun. Basically, it's all people who are, you know, nerds in their own kind of universe and who all stayed rather young. They're not all as young as I am, but they still, you know, are people who with, a, with a young, fresh mind, let's, let's maybe put it like that. And we're generally looking for people who are, you know, eager to, to learn new things, who have a certain drive, who want to communicate and, and are very well communicators. Um, people who have no ego, this is the, the most important aspect for our culture. Uh, we are having like an ego-free zone. And um, people with interesting, weird hobbies, basically. You know, that's, that's what we're always looking for. Honestly, I have, you know, never had any problems with people who are older or more experienced than, than I do because Generally, the, the fear is probably that they disagree with something that, that you want to do and they think they know it better. And the, you know, they do most of the time because they're the experts in that field. Once you realize that you're not, they're not working for you, but they're working with you and your goal and, and your responsibility is to define, refine and, and, and share a vision for the company where you want to be and then guide every single team member and, and all the different departments uh, to achieve that vision together, like, you know, a big puzzle coming together. Uh, and when everyone has their clear responsibilities, you discuss about how can we best achieve this vision, but not 
about who's right. Most of the time, I just try to be very honest and I talk about my fears and my concerns and also if I don't know what to do with the person that, who is concerned because most of the time they actually have the same fear or a similar one and we just don't talk about it. So, uh, you know, trying to be very honest, very direct, saying, look, I don't know what to do in this scenario, but I'm feeling this way. Uh, and most of the time, because we have an ego-free zone in our startup, it's not about, you know, who wins over another, but trying to find a solution. And this works most of the time, but having experienced, you know, business angels or, or other people that you trust uh, also from different fields maybe, who don't have anything to do with what you're actually doing and have a kind of fresh perspective, definitely helps. The first one I would say is make sure you clearly define and know your responsibility and what's especially not your responsibility. This probably accounts for all founders, not just young ones. Make sure that you give away responsibility because you can't, it's not a one-man show, you can't do it yourself and the more space you give uh, to your employees, the more they can actually take and, and make it their own. I would say what helped me very much is establish an amazing culture so that everyone feels comfortable and everyone can participate and it's always about the cause and not about personal, personal stuff. Mm -hmm.